everybody. So this is the haul part of the video. Yes, I really hope you guys enjoyed the little montage I put together of me going around the library with all the footage that I could get. I got the best footage that I could. And when I go to the main library in a couple of weeks, I will get some more footage from there. I did sign up for the summer reading club while I was there. And um, the adult summer reading club. Um, and you know what's really cool is that at the end of it, you get two free books. But for the teens and the kids, not for the adults. Which sucks. They should do that with the adults too. Um, but with signing up, you get a bag. And they had like ones for kids and then these ones... Um, I like this one more because the ones for kids were like footballs and like baseballs and I'm just like no so um, yeah so I got this one it's really I like this one a lot it's got a handle you could turn into a backpack this will not fit on my fat ass so you know it's okay I can hold it like this um, but yeah so I love the color of it it's really nice so I have all my library stuff that I got in here and I'm gonna just pull things out and just show you guys um, so the first thing that I have is constable and tube by Gareth P. Jones this is about a boy who could talk to ghosts and I guess they get they're, they're starting to get locked in the living world and so he's trying to figure out what's going on and how he can help them but this cover is absolutely gorgeous all the way around it's turtle back but it's beautiful and I've seen this on the library a couple of times and never actually pulled it out to look at it I've always just saw the spine and it just never caught my eye but I saw it on Goodreads and a couple of people recommended it to me and the funny thing about it was that I actually own three of Gareth P. Jones' books I've, I've never read them I got this one and I really like the inside design too let me show you guys a couple of pages this bag is like ready to fall off of me like, I really like that this prologue is called The Birth of a Ghost it's really cool. Kind of reminds me of like Edward Gorey's illustrations a little bit. I really like that. The next one I got is Wild Boy by Rob Lloyd Jones. And this one is, um, the reason I got this one is because I found it on Amazon. And I actually found the sequel because I saw the cover to the sequel. And I was like, oh, let me see what this is. Then um, I went to the first book. And then I put on hold at the library because it sounded really cool. And um, I got it because it reminded me a little bit of Curiosity House. And right here it says, A boy covered in hair, raised as a monster, condemned to life in a traveling freak show. A boy with extraordinary powers of observation and detection. A boy accused of murder, on the run, hungry for the truth. Behold the savage spectacle, spectacle of Wild Boy. Ladies and gentlemen, take your seats. The show is about to begin. I mean, that just sounds really cool. And I read the first couple of pages and I was just like, yes. So, I am very, very excited about this one. Then... The last one that is in uh, like book form is, because the rest of them are audiobooks, is, what the hell, I hate when they cover the title with a goddamn barcode. The Case of the Missing Moonstone, this is the, what is it called, I can't see the damn title, hold on a second. The Wollstonecraft Detective Agency, book one, The Case of the Missing Moonstone by Jordan Stratford. Um, this is so cute, you guys, look at this. It's like, it's beautiful. It's real shiny, but let me see. It's really cute, and the inside of it is gorgeous. It has illustrations. There's a map of London, alternate London, 1826. Imagines an alternate 1826 London where Ada Lovelace, the world's first computer programmer, and Mary Shelley, author Frankenstein, meet as girls and form a secret detective agency. The first case involves a stolen heirloom, a false confession, and an array of fishy suspects. So, this one sounds really awesome. And, also with this, I went ahead and I got the audiobook. So, I'll be reading them at the same time, and I think it'll be really cool. These are really cool ones, they're like MP3 players. But the audiobook is on there, so that should be really fun. The Case of the Stolen Sixpence um, by Holly Webb. This is the first book in the Mysteries of Maisie Hitchens series. Um, this one sounded really cool. It's about a little girl who is trying to solve a mystery, but it was only it's only two hours, so you know that's going to be quick. And I want to see if I can, you know, read an audiobook by itself without having the actual book um, with me. And yeah, so... This is all I have. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this. Um, yeah, let me know if you read any of these books or anything. And I will see you guys um, next time with another video. Okay? Okay. Bye.